Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. We are going to unpivot multiple column combinations. This is part of an unpivot variation series, which is all about turning your data into a proper tabular format that's suitable for analysis. Now I've rated this intermediate level because most transformations can be performed using the user interface. If we look at the source table, we see one row. The desired layout shows three records where that single row from the source table is split up by overtime type. So we need to create an attribute that says something about the values in that record and then combine the hours and the costs for that overtime type. Now there's several ways to achieve this, but I'm going to share with you a solution that uses a powerful M function that's not available through the ribbon called list.zip. So let's examine how that works. So in the top left, I've zoomed into the data pairs and we can distinguish three overtime types. Now the function list.zip, it takes a single list that contains a nested list and then returns a single list with nested list as a result. I've depicted what that looks like. So our first list will contain the attributes that says something about the values on that record. The second list will contain the hours and the final list, the costs. If we look to the right, we can see that list.zip then combines those values from the nested list based on their position. So everything on the first row on the left gets combined into a new list on the right. And the same thing happens for every other row in the source list that we provided list.zip. Now with that said, let's go over the Power Query. I already mentioned that list.zip is not available through the ribbon, so we have to write some actual M to use it. And we can do that if we add a custom column. So via the mini table in the left corner, I'm going to select add custom column. And let's enter list.zip. opening parentheses and it takes a single list with lists right so I'm going to use the list initializer to create that list now for the list I'm not the world's fastest typer so I've copied that and I'm going to paste that in so here we see text values one for each overtime type I'm going to add a comma and create a new list now remember that list.zip, it combines the values based on their position in the list. So we have to pass the values in the exact same order. So let's start by the hours. So select overtime type 1.2 and the next one and the final one. Add a closing curly bracket for that list. And our final list is going to contain the costs. So comma, opening curly bracket, and select the values in the same order again. Closing curly bracket for that list, closing curly bracket for our lists containing lists, and a closing parentheses for the function. Press OK. So at this time, we no longer need the value columns here, right? So I'm going to select the first one, press down shift, select the last one, right click and remove columns. I'm going to click off to the side in the white space here to see the contents of our list. And we see that we have a list containing multiple lists. And that's exactly the output that list.zip generates. So with those sideward arrows, I'm going to expand to new rows. And that generated three records. So when I click off to the side in the white space again, we can see that we have the values for that first record. And we can extract those by clicking those sideward arrows again. So extract values, select a delimiter. I'm going to go with a tab and press OK. All the values are now combined in a single column. So on the transform tab, we can select split column. 
split by delimiter, select the tab and press OK. I didn't detect the data types correctly, so with pressing down shift I'm going to select the last column and on the transform tab select detect data types. Great, let's give these columns proper names. All done. So we've unpivoted our data without using any of the unpivot commands that are accessible on the ribbon. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA. And thank you so much for watching. All the best.